brag a little bit, if you would. I feel like in an earlier era, there were major projects going on all the time. And today, when I think of major projects going on in the United States, period, I think about this, this, this uh, reconstruction of the span of the Bay Bridge. Well, certainly this bridge, uh, this project is one of the biggest in the country. It, it, to the total cost of a set of projects, about a half a dozen projects, to replace the East Span is $6.4 billion. Um, but we have a lot of work going on throughout California. We have a lot of work going on here in the Bay Area. But this is certainly one of the largest public works projects going on anywhere in the United States. $6.4 billion over what period of time? $6.4 billion over a period of uh, eight years. Put that in perspective for me. I mean, is, is, does that make it the biggest project in the country? Uh, what did it cost to build the Bay Bridge the first time? I don't know what it cost to build the Bay Bridge the first time, but I will say the company that, that there's a joint venture building this bridge, it's American Bridge and Floor, and American Bridge actually built the original huh. uh, Bay Bridge, and here they are replacing it 75 years later. Amazing. So tell me about this bridge. This bridge is a very unique bridge. It's a, a, a combination of a skyway, which is just an elevated roadway on concrete stilts, and then a self-anchored suspension bridge, which is a very unique design. It's a very unique and innovative design that will help us deal with the seismic motions that are going to be in this area. This bridge is built in between the San Andreas Fault and the Hayward Fault. So that presents a very unique engineering challenge. And a self-anchored suspension is a very unique design. It has one tower and the entire structure hangs off of that tower. Now a typical um, cable stay bridge uh, has two cables parallel and you hang the road from those cables. The entire deck of this bridge hangs from one single cable that essentially wraps around the deck and then onto that one tower. Who's paying for this bridge? A majority of the bridge is being paid for by the toll payers that are crossing this bridge every day, which is 280,000 vehicles a day. And what does it cost to drive across the Bay Bridge? During rush hour, it can be $6. Uh, Off-peak hours is $5. And then there's a reduced rate for uh, carpoolers. Everyone wants to talk to you about the Bay Bridge, but it's not the only project you have going on in California, correct? That's correct. Statewide, right now, we have 641 projects underway that are the responsibility of the Department of Transportation, and those 641 projects are actually valued at $12.8 billion. $12.8 billion, so that, and about half of that is the Bay Bridge. Yeah, but that's not half of the, we're only talking about several of the projects on the Bay Bridge are already completed, so they're uh -huh. not in there. So the uh -huh. $1.7 billion for the self-anchored suspension is in there. Uh-huh. And so you're doing $12 billion worth of projects simultaneously in, in the state of California. Um, where are you getting the money for that? Well, uh, uh, our funding for transportation projects is a combination of state funds, federal funds, a significant contribution from a state proposition, Proposition 1B that was passed back in 2006, put out about $20 billion for infrastructure improvements specifically for transportation that are being spent over about a five or six year period. We're getting to the end of the life of that proposition, but a lot of that work is still out in construction. 